are back home from visiting family now and it's been a busy couple of weeks but the guinea pigs have finally settled back in. We've had a busy couple of weeks so this is the first time I've had an opportunity to do any filming since the new year. We've had a lot of cold weather and snow in the UK and while the guinea pigs have been staying snugly warm it also means we haven't had much opportunity to film a lot of interesting things. The guinea pigs also don't seem to want to do that much when it's cold outside and they'd rather stay where the snuggle safe is. I've been meaning to get some new pea flakes for a while because we were trying to finish off the old bag first but you can see they're all really small pieces now and it's kind of difficult to find a decent sized pea flake to give to the guinea pigs. So I finally bought some new ones and the new ones came today and they look like this. <laughs> they're like easily like four times as big as some of the old pea flakes and the piggies are really happy with them I fill up the whole tub but because they're so big I feel like we need to be careful now about how many pea flakes we're giving them because I don't want them to get fat Alex is so excited he can't wait what are you doing? you're not meant to be up there you want your pea flake? you can't come up there then you gotta come down here This is also their new hair now. It's Ings hair from it's hairandstraw.com now, but it used to be hair for pets. And they seem to like this one a lot more. So we had the pets at home hair temporarily, but it was quite yellow and stocky. They didn't really like it all that much. So now it's relegated to floor time hair. But even then they're not really very impressed with it. But as soon as we put this Ings hair in the cage, they were super happy with it. They were going crazy. Hey Alex. So lots of popcorns. Um, and now they spend a lot of their time eating the hair. It's quite soft. It's not as like stalky as Timothy hair, but it's really nice and green. It smells really good. Um, <laughs> yeah, the piggies really like it, so would recommend. The good thing about hair for pets as well is that they have taster bags so they they offer like three types of hair and you can get a bag and try like a small bag of each of them so you can see what your guinea pigs will like what they might not like um, we did the trial bags and they didn't seem that interested in the Ings hair initially um, so we bought metal hair which my boyfriend said they really like but then when we bought the 10 kilo bag they weren't very impressed with it and it took us quite a while to get through it and it was also quite bitty like there was a lot of small pieces whereas with this hair um, there's some flowers in it which kind of make a bit of a mess and the piggies don't really eat them you can see like these they kind of ignore them and just eat around them and they can be a little bit messy but overall the quality of the hair seems a lot higher I don't know if we got unlucky with a bad batch last time, but this seems a lot better and the piggies are pretty happy with it, so...
giving a nice demonstration of how nice the hair is for you. Oh, as soon as I go over towards this area of the room now, the piggies just get really excited and think that they're going to get a pee flick. Um, I also bought some more of these Brenner's Herb and Veg Drops that I had for Pigmas in their stockings. Uh, the guinea pigs really like them and I like how they're just small individual treats. So it's good for just giving them one as and when. You don't have to worry about like breaking them up into even chunks or anything like that because they're already chunks. And it stops fighting because then Alex can just run off with his and leave Godzilla to eat his in peace. <laughs> Alex really wants to come up. Oh. Alex! He's such a troublemaker. He always wants to go where he shouldn't go. Only when I'm here though. When I'm not here, he doesn't bother. All of these towels and things on here are supposed to be anti-Alex protection measures because even with the towel here he just gets cheeky and jumps up anywhere. I just picked him up and put him back in the cage but he just came straight back out. Alex! What are you doing? You're not supposed to be up here. Go back inside please. Careful. Go back inside please. Ah, come on. There's no pee flicks. Careful. And then if I pick him up, he complains at me. Like, honestly, this pig. This pig. Right here. Lex has encouraged his brother to be cheeky, and now both of them are on top of the cage where they shouldn't be. I'm gonna have to put up some better anti-Alex measures, I think. <laughs> Are you coming on? <laughs> now I have a pig. Ah. So troublesome. Godzilla, what are you doing up there? You're gonna go back in! Good boy! I need to go one good boy. Now confiscated their towel from the top, so they shouldn't be able to jump up anymore. I think it's maybe because I'm stood on this side of the room. <laughs> Alex isn't happy with this. He's like, I'm gonna be cheeky until you give me more pee flicks. I'm kind of curious to see what he's gonna do now he can't jump on the towel. Looks like we've got some peace and quiet for a minute. Oh, hey boys. Now that we're back into our normal routine, I'm hoping to be able to post videos more regularly again. Let me know if you have any suggestions or requests for video topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!